Alright, so first day in Kaohsiung. Uh, a little bit noisy out here. It's a uh, street just outside the apartment. And I'm gonna go over to try to grab a Wemo scooter, which is an electric scooter that's uh, kind of vitamin it rental. And then uh, take that over to the waterfront. Uh, there's a couple of sites there to see. So go check that out. Alright, so I found the scooter. Uh, it's kind of like a, any sort of sharing app. It shows up the GPS or the location of it. So I've got one right here. So to use the scooter, you just open up your app, find the nearest scooter, and um, press the uh, rent button. And then that gives you 10 minutes to get to it. Uh, once you get there, you can uh, hit to start the rental. And then there's a power button that just remotely will start the scooter and unlock it. Uh, and then you can also open up the trunk, uh, pressing the little trunk button here. And then each uh, Wemo scooter comes with two helmets as well. So they're nice, fairly clean. Alright, so I took the scooter over to um, the British Consulate, and so this is a um, historical site here in Kaohsiung. That's um, the first British Consulate in Taiwan. So there's a lot of history here about uh, when the British arrived and some of the different uh, uh, conflicts they were involved with in, uh, with China and then how it was taken over um, later by the Japanese. Um, so it's an interesting place to take a look. So one of the really great things about coming up to the consulate here is this really amazing view of the sea and um, the west coast of Taiwan. All right, so this is over on the coast, the west coast, uh, right next to Kaohsiung. And if you just drive down the road a little bit, you will see this beautiful coastline. It reminds me of California. Um, Sort of similar style rocky kind of coastline. Uh, now there is supposed to be a nice beach along the way here too so I'm gonna go take a look um, before I return the scooter and then uh, that'll be it for today. All right let's go take a look and find that beach. All right looks like we made it to the walkway down to the beach. Found the entrance. Uh, there's a lot of scooters parked right up the, the road where this walkway is so it looks like a lot of people have come down here so let's go take a look um can't believe how much warmer it is here so it was you know like 18 degrees celsius up in the north and taiwan or in taipei and at the gorge uh but here in the south, it's like 28 degrees Celsius today. So perfect, like summer weather. And it's middle of February. Amazing. Love it. All right, so hopefully it's not too windy. I've gotten to the end of the path. It's not really a, um, a sandy beach. This is just uh, kind of rocks, but there is a uh, old installation of some sort. It looks like a fortification almost.
All right, gonna walk right back up to the scooter. You know, this is a, it's a very short hike, maybe like five, 10 minutes, uh, but it is a little bit rocky and a little trickier. There's also a part where there's ropes that you have to hold on to be able to climb up and down. So here's the rope section. So it's not too bad, it just kind of gives you a rope here to help. Because um, it is a little slippery, the rocks and the sand have become a little slippery here. Hopefully there's no snakes hanging down that look like vines. Alright, so I found another path. There we go. There's the secret beach. Hopefully you can hear me over the wind and the wave noise, but there it is. It's quite beautiful. Just a small little beach with this black sand. 